Hello folks, I'm going after the Pinwheel Galaxy again, but this time with my schmidt cassegrain telescope. I'm doing two minute exposures and today I think I'm only going to get through luminance because I, I want to collect as much as I can before my batteries die down because this is a faint galaxy and I want to make sure I, I capture enough data for each filter. I'll do RGB on another night. And um, I'm doing dithering for the first time ever, so I'm hoping that helps out with that, that background. If you saw my last video, I had some weird noise going on in that, in that video. Uh, and this is what my guiding looks like so far, 0.7. Uh, that's not too bad. I can live with that. Oh, one more thing. Look, look at here. It says dither. And, and you can see that little dip there. Very cool. That wasn't hard at all to set up. Um, in, in SG Pro. So, okay, I'll see you later. Hey, I am back. It's actually now the next day, and I'm comparing what I captured last night with what I captured a few nights ago, and the one on the left is dithered, and the one on the right isn't. And this is the problem I talked about in my previous video where I had this raining or walking noise, it's called. And the one on the left that uses dithering, there, there's no sign of it. So, uh, I'm liking dithering so far, I, although I can't say for sure if, if that's um, the real fix because there's big differences between these two. The one on the right is uh, captured from my refractor. The one on the left is my 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrain. And the one on the right is using both a luminance and LPR filter. And the one on the left, I decided to replace my luminance filter with an LPR instead of stacking two filters together. And it didn't come out too badly. So uh, maybe the sole reason was uh, dithering, but I can't say for sure. But I'm certainly going to start dithering, absolutely. It's, it's, it's going to be part of what I do now. because it, It's simple enough, and I, I like how it looks. And let me show you one more thing here. What I didn't like was using an OAG. Um, I was able to, uh, this is the OAG right here, and I was able to get both the imaging camera and the guide camera, both in focus. I was able to find guide stars, although guiding wasn't as good, but I, I just found the whole process tedious, and, and, I, and I don't like only being able to use stars, guide stars on the outer edge. You know, to me, there's no fun factor in it, and, and there has to be some fun in what you're doing. And I, I'll even sacrifice a little quality as long as I can try and keep this process fun. So last night, I, I left the OAG on, but I moved the guide camera back to my refractor and used that for guiding. So um, that's all I got for now, and uh, let's see how my, uh, my final image looked.